to make you feel alone, make you feel helpless, make you feel like you're worth nothing? Seriously? No. No, my brothers and sisters in faith, no. You have a purpose in life. I have a purpose in life. We all have a purpose in life. And guess what? It is the same. We have an aim. And that is to worship our Creator. Because Allah says in the Holy Quran that I created man and jinns only to worship me. You were made for this purpose. I was made for this purpose. This is in our nature. Brothers and sisters, we are coming close to the end of times. To those times when good will face evil and good will conquer evil. And each and every one of us is being recruited. We're being recruited right now through an elimination process. The strong, valuable players who have strength of Iman and love of the Holy Prophet Muhammad in their hearts are being chosen by the devil. And a game of strategy is being played against them. A game with a strong, valuable person, which is you, my brother or sister, which is you. You are made to feel worthless. You are made to feel like everything bad is happening to you because you deserve it. Because it is your fault. You are being made to feel that your loved ones also do not care about you. Like you are a burden on them, on society at large. Slowly, your helplessness will get to you. Your feeling worthless will make you feel lethargic. You feel, you'll start feeling like nothing matters anymore. You'll feel despair, hopelessness. And at that time, and at that very moment, you will feel like even a smile from a stranger will mean the world. And that, my brothers and sisters, that your lowest point is actually your turning point. Yes, that time. You need to decide which way. In fact, you don't have to choose. Your destiny will overtake you. It will take you under its wings. And remember, the difference is how patient you are, how thankful you are. Those two will be the deciding factors from where you are at this point, at this stage in your life, and where you're supposed to be in actuality. There's a hadith -e qudsi I'm sure that most of you would know what a hadith -e qudsi is. For those who don't, just for their information, let me give you a brief explanation of what a hadith -e qudsi is. A hadith -e qudsi is that hadith or that revelation which has been revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly to the Prophet Muhammad wasalam, and how that differs from a wahi or a revelation which is the Quran is that the Quran each and every syllable is Allah's word. Nothing has been changed. Whereas a hadith -e qudsi is a wahi, a revelation, which was given down to the Prophet Muhammad wasalam, directly from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet Muhammad wasalam, gave it to us in his own words. That is the only difference, brothers and sisters. So there is no doubt about a hadith -e qudsi. Anyone who doubts that, is entering the realms of shirk and kufr. A hadith -e qudsi states that an inmate of hell will act like a person belonging to the gardens of paradise and his behavior will bring him so close to paradise that there will be an arm's length of distance between him and the paradise when his or her destiny shall overtake them and will turn them around to what they were really meant for, which is hell. And vice versa, an inmate of paradise will make so many mistakes, will be so flawed, will go on so many problematic ways, that they will come so close to the burning fires of hell, that there will be an arm's length between them and the fires of hell. And then their written destiny shall overtake them and turn them away and bring them closer to what they were actually intended for, which is the gardens of paradise. 
Allah says in the Holy Quran, Ista'inu bis sabri wa salat. Sadaqallahu al-Azim. Find strength or maintain your strength through patience and prayers. Brothers and sisters, patience is a virtue. A virtue easy to say but very difficult to adhere to. But remember, you are not worthless. You are not worthless or a burden, no. You're a very valuable asset. A very, very valuable asset. And that is why you, my brother or sister, are being attacked. You are being attacked by the shaitan, the Satan, the devil, in the guise of jinns that constantly whisper in your ears. They constantly give you doubts that constantly make you uncertain and unsure of who you are, what you are and where you're supposed to go. And in the guise of human beings posing as friends, posing as families, posing as loved ones. Yes, certain suggestions, certain doubts, even said, even uttered by their mouths can change our thinking, can change ourselves, can change our behavior and make us fall into the depths of depression. And make us feel worthless. Mawla Ali Karamallahu wa Jahul Kareem said, Do not run after your family so much that you actually forget your duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because if your family, that is your wife and your children, are friends of Allah, then Allah will take care of them. And if they are enemies of Allah, your wife and your children are the enemies of Allah, then you are feeding and strengthening the enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So much meaning. So much meaning. Think about it. Think about it, brothers and sisters. Think about it. We devote our lives to our families to our wives, to our husbands, to our children, to the extent that we we fall short on our duties, not only towards Allah and not only towards other human beings, but even to our own selves. And that is what the shaitan wants. Think about it. Has an army ever attacked a barren, worthless country? Seriously, it's plain logic. It's plain logic. The sad thing is that we are so burdened by our so-called depression, by our so-called flaws. Guess what? Each and every one of us is flawed. What's the big deal? Each, of our, each and every one of us has made mistakes. What's the big deal? That is what we have our creator for. Therefore, that's what we have our creator there for to basically help us and save us from falling into the pits of depression. 